Hello again. Welcome into episode number 16 of the Agency Toolbox podcast. This week, we've got another productivity tip, another productivity tool that I use and absolutely love. And this is going to be a short and sweet episode walking you through that tool, which is called very simply Paste. All it is is a clipboard manager. And I'm just going to show you guys exactly how I use it and where it saves me time. And there, first of all, there's a bunch of different tools to do password management. There are free ones. Paste is one that we all use on the team over here, and it's been awesome. Um, we love it, but it's 10 bucks. Obviously, you have to be on a Mac, so if you're not on a Mac, I'm sorry. Look for something else for you. But basically, how this works is, let me hover over this and see if I have it pulled up. Okay, so I have it hidden right now from my menu bar, but I just have my keyboard shortcut that I'm going to hit, and it's going to pop up. It remembers all my passwords, or not my passwords, it remembers all the all the text that I've uh, copied. I actually have it set up to exclude passwords that I'm copying like out of one password um, or last pass or anything like that. So it won't store those in here. But um, this is gonna copy all the things that I've been looking at recently. So there's a little little uh, rundown of what I've been looking at. If there's things in here that I accidentally copied that I don't want for whatever reason, um, there's nothing in here that I desperately need to have copied, but there's nothing in here that I really need to delete, but I can just go ahead and delete that and that'll be removed from my history. Now I can set up preferences in paste and pick what I want in terms of how many I want to remember. I keep, I think I have it set to remember my last 500, which is quite a few. Um, if you're working on an older machine or something with a little bit less system memory, you may want to reduce that number. What I love about paste is the ability to just quickly hit the shortcut. So for me, it's just command shift V it'll pop up this. I can just toggle back and forth with my arrows, hit enter. That'll select it. Then I can paste it in wherever I need it. So if I want my transfer wise code, I'll just hit enter. I'll go up to my browser here and we'll paste it right in there. And there's my, there's my code for that. So if we jump back into paste here, one of the cool things about this is that it will differentiate. It understands what's a link. It shows you right where you right where you pasted it from, so you have a little bit more context. It shows you how many characters, if it is text. But what's also cool, it'll, and you can see here where I've been pulling and pasting stuff out of, is that, um, and it it can handle an awful lot of uh, of text here. There's some stuff that I copied out of Sublime when I was editing. But what's cool is it identifies the different type of content. So if there's an image it'll have an image. If I were to go up here and let's just type in this right here. So this is uh, one of the doom and bound brand colors. If I copy that, you'll see what this does now. It'll show me the actual preview of the color. So this is really fast if you're doing any kind of design or jumping back and forth, working with hex codes and CSS for whatever reason, and you don't want to have to remember what is this six character number translate to color wise, you're able to see it right away. So the example of that, if I do, I realize you're going to make fun of me because I need to shorten up that uh, auto expand snippet. It would be short just to type the numbers if I could remember them all the time. But I'll copy that. And now I can see, okay, that's the darker shade of green. This is the lighter shade of teal or whatever that color is uh, that I can use as I'm trying to copy and paste and work between stuff. So this is really helpful. You know, if it's your own brand, like Doom Bound is our own, I know the hex codes for it, but trying to handle client work and jumping back and forth, you're able to quickly see, and so that saves a little bit of time there. You can also search. So if you just um, type the slash command or start typing anything, actually, I believe, let's make sure, if I start typing, yeah, so anything that I start typing automatically goes to the search bar. So that is... That has made it really nice. You think like, I never want to have to scroll through 500 items to have to go back and find what I was looking for, but you can just search right away and it pulls it up uh, live and super quickly. And the one last thing I'll mention here is uh, useful links. So you can uh, basically save things as stuff that you want to quickly be able to jump back to. Now, most of that stuff goes into my text expander, which we'll get into next week on the podcast. I use a text and I'll get into why I do that and how that works for me in next week's podcast episode. But, um, but if there's anything that you do wanted to note in here 
and mark down um, as a useful link or whatever. You can do that. So you can pin stuff and you can create as many different pin boards as you want. Choose how you're going to paste it and uh, and work from there. So that is, that's paste for you in a nutshell. If you guys have not used it yet, I definitely recommend it. Certainly worth the 10 bucks. If you have something else that you're using that you like, let me know about it. And if there are other items, we're kind of doing a little bit of a mini series here. We're trying to hit on a lot of the really simple tools that we use to speed up our workflow and that I found really helpful and have gotten a lot of these tools have gotten our team hooked on to start using. So we're going to rock and roll with a couple more episodes here of some of these kind of smaller tools like that. So if you uh, if you are not yet subscribed to the podcast, I would recommend doing that, staying up on these episodes coming up. And then if you have other items that you absolutely use and love, other apps that are speeding up your workflow on a day-to-day basis, that's the kind of stuff I love learning about. So let me know, and we'll chat with you next week.